While we're focusing today's phone in on children's mental health well-being, uh, it's just as important as we get older, with half of UK adults age 55 and over having experienced mental health problems. Now, a few weeks ago, we heard how Mr Motivator had navigated the challenges in his own life about lessons he's learned and his quest to be happy. Today, I'm delighted to say he is back to tell us more of his own story in the hopes that he can help everybody out there by sharing. Yes. Why not? There we go. Welcome back Thank to the This Morning Sofa. So good you. to be here. I feel like part of the furniture, although there's not a picture of me on the wall, but... No, we'll, we'll right. sort that. We can sort that. We can <laughs> and sort that. you are fabulous, sir. Thank you. You are fabulous. I think it's important to wear the T-shirt, first of all. If you want to feel good, wear the T-shirt. I'm awesome. I'm fabulous. Mr Motivator, I know you shouldn't speak about somebody's age, how but I... I've got to ask, how old are you? Because you don't look any different from when I dan used to dance along <laughs> to you on a morning. How old are you now? 71, next month. You're not? Oh, yeah. You? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You do not <laughs> look you. a touch yeah. of 71. You look but, fabulous. But then I think it's important, right, that what we do is we, we tell people about the importance of looking after themselves. Because as you get older, we neglect ourselves. We start saying, no, we've got to spend time with the grandchildren. But as they tell you on the aeroplane, you, you must put your mask on first before you can help anybody mm. else. That is well, so true. But this is the problem, isn't it, when you get older and as a parent, you, you're there to absorb younger yeah. people's anxieties and fears sure. and worries and you forget sure. about your own, sure. don't you? But you have to be prepared to say no as often as you're prepared to say yes. And say no, if the family loves you or your friend loves you, they will appreciate the fact that the reason why you said no is because you can't possibly fit it in. And so older people should stop feeling guilty about not being available to babysit, to take the children to school. There's nothing wrong with it. You did your job when you got your children grown up. Yeah. You gave them education, you gave them life, you gave them everything they needed. Now it's your turn. So now it's time to use the word skin, which is spend the kids' inheritance now on you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. I love that. I absolutely nice. love that. Um, <laughs> now, what I do find is, is the younger generation, they are a lot better at talking about mental health, aren't they? Whereas the older generation, I think if I would have spoken to my nan about mental health, I would probably, yeah. and I, 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 we're that sort of family, I put a sure. clip right here. I, Listen, that is... in the early days, right, when I was down in the barrel struggling away, you never, ever address mental health. Um, health. I remember doing some work for the charity Mind and they couldn't get people to donate because families did not want to admit that they had someone in the family who maybe is depressed, is stressed or whatever it is. I readily admit, in my family, my children have depression. And when they're successful, you think to yourself, why have depression? But it's to do with the hormone release mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And that's why, for me, I know that when I was depressed, the one thing that got me out of it was to start focusing on me, start counting my blessings every day. Get up in the morning, you tell yourself you're fabulous. You look in the mirror, be proud of who you are. What you do is you tell yourself today's going to be a great day no matter what. And if you practice being positive, mm -hmm. negativity doesn't come into the picture. How bad was it for you? How bad was a bad day? <sighs> you know... I don't dwell on it. And the reason why I don't dwell on being given away at three months of age, being homeless, being a single parent, I don't dwell on it because those were the foundation stones that made me who I, who I am. And every single person now who may be thinking, well, you know, I, what contribution can I make to life? You're making a contribution mm. by being here, yeah. right? I mean, if you take your way out the equa equation, how many people would be missing you? Loads of people. So if you're in that corner, if you feel the walls are closing in, you've got to go, Motivator got through it, right? He remained positive. He had hopes for tomorrow. He knew that things would become better. And that's the important thing. It's a bad moment. It's not a bad life. Oh, I love that. That's I love good. that. Did you just say you were homeless? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 down by the Arsenal Stadium, I used to be outside the, the homeless family unit with my daughter and my arm, waiting to be given somewhere to stay. We lived in the bed and breakfast where three or four families were sharing the same bathroom. You see, unfortunately in life, right, everyone judged you based on the vehicle you drove up in. They don't realise before that there was no vehicle. Only you getting life experiences. And I'm, I get really upset, right, when I see these youngsters come about and they go, I'm a motivational speaker. I'm talking about mental health. They haven't lived. Yeah. They're upstarts. They haven't lived. Until you have experienced it in your life, you down. do not know what to do. Yeah. And I know, I know from experience that every single mountain I see in front of me is a challenge to climb. Right? Every time I get feeling of something's not right, I know it can affect my, affect my health in so many ways. So what am I going to do about it? I'm going to prepare myself for it. And I say to every older person right now, there's certain conversations you need to have 
with your loved one, you just say, okay, what are we gonna do when one of us goes? Because mm. the only thing you're sure about is today. Tomorrow morning you get up, that's your birthday. Yeah. I say to them, you've got to do that in your life. Plan, talk mm. about it. Don't be scared talk about of all it. Those, don't be scared of it, talk mm. about all those issues. And talking about those experiences, I, I always say this, that, you know, my, you know, when I've been the most down in my life, they have got me to the, the, the best bits of my life. Yes. I've needed those down days mm. to get me to the best Absolutely days. Absolutely right. Yeah, and, and you appreciate everything that happens after that. And that's why us older people, remember what they say, beautiful teenagers are freaks of nature but beautiful older people are works of art. Right? <laughs> ah, that's so <laughs> right? lovely. And, and the thing is, right, we're in our best years yeah. now, right? And so therefore, don't feel guilty. Don't have fear of mm. saying no. Get up and look after you, because your independence as you get older is critical. A, a message to those people, particularly around, when you hit your 50s, because you're still taking care of kids, mm. um, getting them through college or the last years of school, whatever, but also your parents, if you're lucky, are still around, but there might be dementia in the household, which is an incredibly stressful thing to do. And it's we're not trained to deal with no. these matters, let's be honest. And it, you've got to come in from all sides, the sandwich generation they mm. call 50-year-olds. What advice to the people who are going through that kind of thing now? Well, all I can say to you is that you need someone that you talk to. That's really important, right? And sometimes talking to friends and family members are the worst people in the world, right? Because they'll say exactly what you want to hear. But talking to a stranger and someone outside could be a good way for you to relieve some of those stresses you're going through and also maybe to give the answer. And also you being helpful to other people can give you the solution for what you're looking for. Because remember this, everyone you meet could be fighting a battle that you don't know about. Mm. And just you saying to them, you know what? You don't look well today. I mean, come mm. on. If someone walks in like this, and I'm gonna stand up, right? If someone walks in like this, you know exactly how they're feeling. You don't have to ask. And in fact, most people don't ask because they don't care. But the moment you walk in like this, everyone wants a bit of what you just had. Yeah. They go to you, what were you on last night? What did you have for breakfast? What did you have for dinner? Tell me the secret. So we owe it to ourselves, no matter what we are going through, to look on the upside and realize that as an older person, you've done your bit already. You've done it. You've been great. Come on, the kids are there. But you know the one thing that we can't cope with and we can't plan for is losses. And you are yeah, always difficult. so positive. And what a pleasure, Mr Motivator, we to have you. you on. Thank you so much. <laughs>